weren't a liar. I wish you wouldn't call me a liar. Don't raise your voice at me. I am not raising my voice. You do not talk oh, to me I like that. To you I said, you don't talk to me like that. I work too hard to deal with this stuff. I work too hard. I, work too hard. hard. I am a division manager in charge of 29 people. I drive, I drive, I drive a Dodge Stratus. Good Lord. A bad marriage, it can feel like it can drive you nuts. Apparently, it can also make you physically ill. Researchers at Ohio State found that couples who fight end up with a lot of bacteria in the bloodstream and got chronically sick in many cases. Holly Houston has seen a lot of bad marriages end up in divorce court. She is a divorce attorney in Louisville, Kentucky. She joins me now. Do you see this, uh, uh, Holly? It, when you when you have clients come in, do you see that the bad marriage is actually causing them to to have illness? What I see regularly is that divorce and custody and litigation increases and exacerbates what is already happening. So if people are stressed and anxious and depressed, they're going to be more stressed, anxious, and depressed. They might choose to use alcohol. They might increase whatever mm. drugs and the doses they're taking. And the worst part about that clip, I know that you all heard too, where there were kids in the background. So yeah. what happens for the children of these people, they get sick too because they are exposed to chronic Oof. stress from their parents who aren't mature enough to walk out of the room and fight with each other while these kids are still in the house. When the papers are all signed and it's all behind them and things have sort of calmed down, you get a chance often to see these people around. Do they just seem so much lighter and happier and healthier? Sometimes. Absolutely. Sometimes I have seen clients out in public and not recognize them because they wow. are completely different humans. And those are the good cases. But in custody litigation, there's the concept of ghosting in relationships now where you just yeah. walk away from a relationship text you don't call you can't do that when you're married and you can't do nope. that when you're a parent and you share custody and parenting time of a child imagine having to see the person you dislike the most in the world and then having a court tell you right that you have to cooperate with that and on a daily basis and you know you feel sick to your stomach when, when that happens when you're confronted yeah. with somebody that you don't like that you think is your enemy and unfortunately in some cases might actually be your enemy it doesn't feel good and that not that feeling nice. good, if you don't know how to process that, if you aren't a healthy person to begin with, you don't have a therapist, you don't have a good support system, then it's going to be worse on you than it would be on somebody that did seek what we like to call outside help. I love that Holly Houston is not only a divorce attorney, but she's looking to help people along the way in their voyage. Thank you so much for being here oh, and uh, and taking a look at it this in a, in a holistic way as well. Great to see you, Holly.